Welcome everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Bomber Crew! We are ready to go with the entire crew and George Mellons as the aircraft. <laughs> Let's select our next mission. Last time we did our first mission, which means that now enemy damage is down for the next two missions because we blew up some ammunition depots. Our reconnaissance has identified one of the enemy's motor factories. Oh yeah, that's that one. Allied shipping is being harassed by those U-boats in the North Sea. We've been tasked with hunting down and sinking the blighters. And that one, which is a search and rescue. Let's go help our brave Spitfire pilots. Let's go. All right, everyone ready? Kyle, Hexdemon, Stryker, Wilson, Seb, Video Shards, and Gordon. All right. See, now the, the thing I like to do right at the beginning, you can see that they've got 900 rounds and two extra magazines. And I like to get an extra magazine because it seems like it does help. They can have three magazines on them, as I found out. So also, now Gordon has a secondary uh, skill, which is a gunner. So that's nice. The one thing I never... Supplies must be dropped from low altitude. The container has a parachute. It will drift if dropped too high. See, this is um, this is what I never truly understood. They're in the midst of battle and they're walking like, you know, it's nothing. Of course, you know, right now we're not in the midst of battle. But when we will be, it's going to be a bit weird that the crew members will be like, Oh yeah, that's not a problem. I'll take my time. Navigation update. You have the navigation update now. There we go. We will be navigating over there to the canal. All right, or the strait, or whatever it's called. All right, now of course we'll watch for the blips on the radar. We've reached low altitude. Now, if you look at here, it says ground 100% visibility. So this means that you know if you go too high, where's London? I guess there. Uh, if you go too high he will have, the navigator will have problems uh, navigating and, you know, when he loses all visibility, he will not be able to navigate. And that happens most of the time at medium altitude. However, at high altitude, when you need oxygen, the enemy planes also um, are unable, some of the enemy planes are unable to reach high, high altitude. So you're, you know, safe from them. But it takes quite a while to get to high altitude. Right, now we're getting over the sea, and uh, we can expect contact. And Gordon is going to be have to be ready with the uh, bombing station, because he's going to be dropping those supplies. We don't have any bombing, uh, any bombs right now, we just have supplies in the bomber. Unfortunately, we never really get any, um, you know, wingmen, any buddies to protect us, but, you know, that's fine for now. I like how the inside of the plane looks. Heading confirmed. So where's the blips? I know they're coming. Let's watch that. Yes, we will. There it is. Oh, we're gonna be. I gotta be quick. Gonna open the doors. Select the supplies. There's a supply parachute thingy. Where's the enemy planes? There they are. But I have to drop this first. Come on. Run it. Now we gotta get back. Alright, Gordon, you can get back into your position. There's more planes behind us. Six planes down, that's not good. Alright, I need an update. Where are we going? Okay. So now, we can actually use the focus skill. Do it. And they'll be much more accurate when firing. Look at that. Enemy destroyed. Where are we going back here? Come on, let's go back. We're done. Running low on ammunition. Get some ammunition then. Ow, 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 ow. That hurt. Look at those holes. More enemies spotted. And out of ammunition. That's great. 
Get some ammunition quickly. Well, low on ammunition, not out of ammunition. I feel like we're going in circles. Look at that. We've already dropped it. Let's go. Ow! Oh, video shards got really hurt there. I'm going to keep him where he is right now. But I will want him to, uh, to go to the medical station and get some help. So that was pretty bad. What the hell is going on? Clear air- Oh! We have to clear the area of enemies, I see. Oh, a photo opportunity. Let's do that. Nice. Alright, focus recharged. I want to make sure that they have the ammunition, though. Let's get the ammunition first. Focus. Ah, electrics have failed. Go, go, go. And Gordon, go to the bombing station so we can take that photo. Focus, please. Right, let's take the photo. Oh no, itchy ear, not now. Not now. <laughs> what is that? I don't know, but we've taken a photo of it. So where are we now? Okay. Any extra blips? Okay, Hex Demon is almost done. There we go, the Raider is inactive, but he's repairing it. So he'll be fine. There we go. Repair complete. More planes incoming. The game is giving us all kinds of uh, things to keep track of, but we really don't have time for that right now. Let's have some focus. Do it, do it, nice! Nicely done, video shards. Very nicely done. Oh, where's the rear... the uh, Seb? He's the rear gunner. Is that guy coming back? Yeah, he is. Focus. Do it. Nice. Excellent. Good job, everyone. Nicely done. Alright, you guys get some more ammunition just in case. Because there's nothing going on at the moment. And now we can finally go back. We're returning to base. That was a good job. And of course, now we can also do a lean mixture. Which uh, reduces the usage rate. And as you can see, we're going up from like 17, 18 minutes remaining fuel to 32. Which is a lot nicer. And the, the mixtures last quite a long time. So it's nice. However, the uh, engineer has to stay on the engineering seat. For these uh, to come into effect. I can send video shards over to the medical bay to try and get some of his uh, health back but it doesn't really matter now because we're returning to base and we're fine <clears throat> heading confirmed all right Kyle nice flying hex demon good job on that repair striker was uh, keeping us on track where we needed to be Wilson nice you can uh, radio to for recon but he also you know warned us of that photo opportunity Nice job, Gunners. Very good. And Gordon, nice job taking a picture of that. And also shooting. So there we go. Everyone got their slice of the pie. Alright, and we're still at low altitude, which is fine. We just have to lower the gear when we get into uh, the vicinity of the airport. Covered. Returning to station. Excellent. I can also... You get others to heal up. As I said, it doesn't really matter, but hey, it's nice. So why not? Oh yeah, we can also speed up. There it is. Yep. And lower the gear. And speed up. Maximum. <laughs> Alright. Good job, everyone. Good job. You can see that there's also an oxygen meter here and a temperature. So you have to take an eye, uh, keep an eye on those. Make sure that uh, your crew has oxygen and they're not freezing to death. Nice. That was nice. We shot all those uh, enemy planes down as well. Very good job. Alright, mission result. Search and rescue. Good. We returned. 
So that's a bonus, and we did the photo opportunity. Optional. Didn't really get us that much, but hey, that's fine. So, let's see if, uh, whether, oh, that means at what level they'll get another, uh, skill. I see, okay. So obviously now that they're at level 3, it goes a lot slower. And Matt Gordon didn't get to the next level of gunning, but that's fine. Alright, exit debrief. Let's see what new crew gear we have. There's another bomber landing there, that's pretty cool. Alright, we got a new headgear, which is the helmet. Gives you an extra layer of protection. Uh, it's quite expensive. I think I'll be waiting with that right now. There's also the leather gloves, which are not as warm, but they give you a little extra protection. Uh, I will I will not be buying that either at the moment because I'm cheapskate. Let's look at George Melons. We can have some more new nose art, which is cat's eyes. I'm not going to be taking that just yet. And we can get the armored engines, which are a lot um, heavier. But also the standard engines Mark II, which are a lot more powerful. So uh, for now, we don't really need them because we're not nowhere near the limit yet. Uh, I am going to get the pigeon though, the homing pigeon, because that will increase our survival chances. Also the fuselage. Uh, let's do, let's armor the front, shall we? Or maybe the, hmm, the nose or the front. Let's armor the front for now and the nose. There, perfect. All right, let's go to the next mission. See what it is. Ah, we've got a critical mission now. We've got the enemy ace in uh, mission area, another motor factory. We've got the submarine. But I would like to do the critical one because we only have... Well, no, actually, I think we need to level up a bit. So let's go to the sub hunt or maybe let's go to this uh, motor factory and try to face this uh, enemy ace. No. Yeah, let's do that. Let's begin the mission and hopefully our people will not die because that would be pretty bad. All right, let's take off. Well, let's uh, tag that. Raise the gear. Go to a lean mixture. So we have, you know, enough fuel to spare, especially if we lose some fuel. It's a good idea to have. All right, everyone has three magazines extra now. That is good. Look at Kyle over there piloting. That's pretty cool. Reached low altitude. Now, as I said, we can go to medium altitude. We're getting reports that an enemy ace pilot, Felix Feeder, is active in the area. So let's go to uh, medium altitude. And you'll see that the ground visibility here is now being reduced. And will be probably reduced too much for navigation, so... We'll see for now. But it's nice to have a little bit of altitude because then you can do an emergency dive and extinguish the f uh, fire in the engines if there is, you know, fire. But you see, it's already 55% and uh, Striker will start complaining that he cannot navigate through the fog and the clouds and everything. So, unfortunately, we'll have to go back down to low altitude. Let's do so now. Alright. Nothing going on at the moment. There we go. But like I said, especially in battle, uh, when the pilot has the emergency dive, I like to have a little bit of altitudes. If altitude, if I, you know, if I do get the chance to actually hit it. There we go. Enemy fighters incoming. Come on, there's four of them. We gotta get that focus up. As soon as uh, Video Shard starts firing, because he's going to be very accurate. Come on, come on, fire, fire. There we go. It's going to do a lot of damage. Look at that. One down, two down, three down, four down. Nicely done, Video Shards. That was bloody amazing. And that's what happens when you get, you know, when they're coming right for you from afar. And as soon as you st they start shooting, you, uh, you initiate focus. It's just so powerful. Let's open the doors. We can bomb that. I have op I'm opening the doors a little too early. Where are they? Set enemy spotted there. 
come on, come on, come on, come on. Is focus ready? Not yet, unfortunately. Alright, we're gonna have to be, uh... Releasing the bombs now. Nice! Already one down. Let's close the doors and go for that photo opportunity. Halt! I have orders to stop you by any means! Right. Okay, you focus now. Ah, darn, they're not in... Oh, there, there's the ace. Get the ace. Get him. Ah, uh, more of them. Crap. I'm gonna miss the photo opportunity, aren't I? No, nope, it's still there. Perfect. Yeah, forcing my hand. Stop making me shoot you. <laughs> All right, get back. Now we can get back over there. There's more planes incoming. Where are they? Behind us. Focus, please. And they're gonna they're gonna need ammunition as well. Crap! I'm using focus and he doesn't have any ammunition. That's bad. That was a wasted opportunity there, unfortunately. Prepare to learn some matters, boots! Picked up ammo, going back to station. Nice, video shards took down another one. Oh wait, why are you here? Ow, ow, ow! Darn it! No, 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 no. We have to get the fuel. Oh, that's on fire. Alright, let's extinguish the fire. I thought it was fuel. But it's actually, uh, engine on fire. So that is for our automatic fire extinguisher system. It's done. It's radio for recon as well. I asked you to stop, but would you listen? No! <laughs> oh, Seb, get back! Alright. Where are they? Oh, yeah. They're already there. Okay, that's fine. Gotta get more ammunition. Focus, please. Ah, oh, that ace is still at half health. What was that... What was that ship doing down there? Were we supposed to hit it? There was no bombing run or anything. Oh, it's already saying return to base. Come on. Help me, Muti! The big bombers are being nasty to me! Ah, my vertical is kicking in. Uh-oh, Seb. Seb is in... Wilson. Get the first aid kit and help him. Alright, help him, help him. I think we'll be fine now, but... Because the, uh, the ace pilot will not be, uh, following us here. Yeah, there we go, they're already going away. Darn it! That was, uh... Pretty bad, actually. I mean, we were doing okay, but look at the, look at the plane. Darn. It's all shot up. You can see the fuel tanks. The engine got shot up a bit. The fuel tank still held, though. That was pretty good. Alright, good job, everyone. Bloody hell. Let's lower the gear. That was very well done, everyone. Very well done, indeed. 12 minutes remaining. Why are we not going... Oh, yeah, because there's the approach. <laughs> Phew! Good job! Be sure to return crew to their stations once they, once they have finished the tasks. Yeah, that's fine. Man, Wilson got really close. No, was Seb who got really close to dying or Wilson? I can't remember now. But yeah. That was a little bit hairy, but that was, you know, the Ace's problem. Unfortunately, they escaped. We'll need some more powerful weapons for that, I think. Alright, we got the main mission success. We returned to the base and we did the optional recon, which was good. Okay, good. Everyone returned. Let's see, we're getting some uh, level ups. I don't think we will. Oh yeah, we are. Ah, Comet Kyle can do a corkscrew. This is very useful when they're getting, uh, you know, when it's an entire squadron of enemy fighters getting, uh, star starting, uh, shooting run at you. You just do a corkscrew and you can avoid most of the damage. It's quite nice. There's the custom heading. Striker will be very useful now with that. And his, uh, you know, and Wilson's, uh, radio for recon. And there's some level ups here, but no new skills. Okay. Fuse large, blah blah blah. There's a lot of new stuff. 
Okay, let's go to crew gear. <laughs> I really like how this game looks. I didn't I wasn't really a fan of the graphics at first, but it really grows on you. It's really kind of nice. Basic pilot set. All right, let's go for the headgear. There's the pilot's cap, which I don't really, you know, see it's it just looks cool, but it it only gives you a little bit of survival, not much else. There's a service cap, which increases speed, which is not bad for an engineer, for example. And a flak helmet, which gives you quite a bit of um, protection. I think... I think Video Shards, who's in the back, should have the flak helmet, because she gets shot up a fair bit back there. And Hex Demon will get the service cap, so she's faster when moving. Uh, we also have oxygen, a toughened small bottle. Uh, but I'm not really doing any oxygen at the moment. And there's a sea survival vest, which gives you a lot of, you know, sea survival points. Uh, but we'll keep that as is. Headgear. Oh yeah, headphones. See, this is also something I don't understand. It doesn't really help with the actual radio stuff at all. It just gives you a little bit of survival. Um, which is not really great. I think I'll keep the, uh, the armor for now as a basic radio operator. All right, let's do aircraft. George Mellons, look at it. There's some new wing art round. Yeah, let's have that. And the text, which can now be yellow. Care package delivery. Now it's going to be that. Our bombs are care packages. Now, we can upgrade the Mark II or downgrade it to a Mark I with an ammo feed, which means it never has to be, uh, you know, rearmed by going to the ammo station. However, they're quite expensive, so I'm going to keep it at Mark II for now and possibly install a ventral turret, but it's bloody 3,000. Electrical system we can upgrade. Uh, you can see that their reliability is 50% right now. You can upgrade into 80%. Uh, but for now, I'm not going to do that because it's quite expensive. Hydraulics I would like to upgrade because they're very important. Um, you know, bomber, bay doors and turrets and everything. Radar would be nice to upgrade, but it's quite expensive. Uh, now we can have two slot equipment racks. Oh yeah, we said that I'll do an extinguisher here. And a med kit here. And a fuselage, which can now be lightweight if we want it. So don't worry about the very low price. It's not such a good thing because we already have the armored fuselage. Uh, you, know, you know, you can sell it back for uh, slightly less than you bought it. So if we go to a place where there's standard fuselage, the lightweight actually costs 500. Uh, but obviously we don't want to reduce the number of hit points. So, tail is armored. Let's do wings as well. I want to armor the wings. And you know what? This here as well. There. So everything is armored now. We're approaching the maximum weight, but that's fine. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're really enjoying this. Check out my Patreon, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye.